Father and son keep fighting for money. I mean, they just keep fighting. I don't know what, what else to say. Hey, there goes our guy, Beto. Beto. You got the stuff? Uh-huh. Damn, yeah. yo. What's wrong? They about to make some bank. Oh, no. 5-0. That guy's probably an informant working Ricky for Martinez, the police. He made bail. I mean, considering they're so young, it's understandable. Oh my gosh, babe! Wait, what the fuck? How old is he? I can't believe you bailed me out. Angel, you're a lifesaver. I wasn't the one who bailed you out. His dad. Now you do, do whatever court? the public defender tells you, hijo. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Hey, no estoy jugando contigo, eh? ¿Y ese nudo? Arreglate esa corbata. You better get your life together. Unless you want to be a delinquent kid for the rest of your life with no future. I have a future, okay? Not yet. Sure you do. But quítate. Look at you. You can't even tie tie correctly. Yes, sir. You are hopeless. You'll never amount to anything. Never had these issues with Manuel. I mean, if my Motor son did that, I would feel the same possession. way. Sales and transportation of a controlled substance. The sentence on this isn't light. However, I'm willing to give you another shot because you're young, and I'd like to see you turn your life around. So I am letting you off with four weeks of community service. Don't waste this shot. Lucky man, bro. You're so lucky that you just got community service. And I'd rather they threw me back in jail. Beats her my dad lecture me 24-7. Bro, just do your community service and <sighs> just change your life. I can't wait for my life. community service to be over so I can go back to selling. You have no idea how much money I'm missing out on right now. No, nah, bro. You're thinking about going back to that life, are you? It's time to start thinking about a real job and a real future. What other choice do I have? I don't know why she's with Just him still. Delinquent kid with no future. Well, there's somebody else's future we need to start thinking about. What do you mean? No way. She's pregnant. Wait a minute. Are you? Please don't. Please end that life. We're gonna be parents, Ricky. So we need to do better. For our kid. <laughs> Whoa. Daddy, you're gonna be late for school. Ricky, stop messing with the fridge. You're gonna let all the cold air out. No worries. I'm gonna fix this thing. Watch. Miho, get your butt out here. You're gonna be late. Coming. It was taking you so long. Sorry, the water wasn't coming out of the shower head again this morning, so I had to wait for it. Can't we get yeah. a handyman to come fix all this? You know, Cost we don't money. have the money for that. Besides, who needs a handyman when you got me? Ha! See? Fix it! It's temporary. I'm gonna have to clean out the fridge as soon as I get off of work, okay? The food's gonna spoil. We can just have dinner at your dad's. No, no, no. I don't know my dad. I don't have time to argue with you about this, okay? I'm running late for work and I still need to drop him off at school. Just give him a call for us, okay? Thanks. Okay. Have a good day. I heard you're trying out for soccer, Danny. Yeah, practices are coming up. Hmm. Well, let's hope you don't have two left feet like your dad. <laughs> Damn. The food's great. Thanks for having us over, Abuelo. Por supuesto. Oh, this is Grandpa. Somebody's got to make sure you're being fed. Is that his son or? I didn't realize he was serving dinner with a side of passive aggression. <laughs> I think you meant thank you. Damn, yo, this man thank knows you what to say. Thank so for having us for dinner. It, it's been delicious. We don't need your help. Well, then why did you come to his house for dinner? About it. Oh, really? Really? How is that job search going? 
kind of man can't provide to his own family. You got your poor wife slaving around in that diner while you sit at home like a bum. I am not a bum, okay? I've been looking for a job, but it's been hard. I'm working on it. Sure. I don't believe you. Besides, no one wants a high school dropout like you. Damn. That's enough. Is this the same kid? I'm kind of... You need to pick up Danny from soccer practice. What's wrong? You shouldn't have to work so much. If I was more of a man, none of Hey, this. that's not the mindset you need to have right now, okay? Here are your resumes. Somebody is going to hire you. What do I always say? You need to believe in yourself before others can Some good advice, okay? but I think I heard that everywhere. Now go get that job, sir. Enough of daydreaming. I'll pick you up after work, okay? Have a good day. Ricky Martinez? Beto? What's up? Oh, it's What's good up? to see you, my man. How have you been? Ah, oh, man, you know, just working. My mom, you know, she ain't doing too good, so <sighs> just trying to take care of her, you know? I'm sorry about that. Give her my best. All right? For sure, man, for sure. Mm. Hey, but man, what about you? What you been up to? <sighs> She's not doing too well here. either. But geez, ain't nobody want to hire me. <sighs> Our place is falling apart, bills piling up, and my dad's on my case about all of it. Hey, man, you should come work with me. Yeah, it's probably the I'm criminal a record. down at that chip company, Crisp Wave. I can get you in. I mean, I know it's just a janitor position, but I'll do it. That's perfect. Here. All right. He has a criminal record. I'll give it to my manager. <laughs> hey, man, good seeing you again, brother. You too. Take care. Bye. Yes. How's practice? You kick some butt? I don't want to talk about it. Why is he so upset? Probably got bullied. Hey! Give me slime in this thing. It's fragile. This thing may just fall apart on the highway after that tantrum. Mira me. ¿Qué pasó? I'm not gonna try out. The Why other are kids the other... have been playing since middle school and they're way better. Okay, then keep practicing. They kept making fun of me, saying I'm wasting my time. You don't listen to them. So what if they got a head start? Don't worry about them. What does your mama always tell us? You need to believe in yourself before, before others us. believe in you. Let them talk their crap. But when you get on that field come trials, you prove all of them wrong. You hear me? Yeah, Mojo. Come on. You're a good boy. And this right here, this is the office space where they do all the emails and typing and graphic design. He probably wants to work there too. <laughs> Whatever they're doing, man. I honestly don't even care enough to know anything about any of that. Just keep the facilities clean and stay out the way. Our manager, Liam, he likes it best when we're basically just invisible. So just like showing up during break time to clean. I don't think you took that advice so doing? well. Just, 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 just looking. If you're looking for cleaning supplies, you won't find them on that screen. Anything they're doing is above your pay grade. So I suggest you keep your eyes on the floors that need mopped and the trash that needs taken out. What was that? Don't nothing, say, nothing don't at all. Speak Sorry, man. Look, it, it's Ricky's first day, and he's just learning how things work around here. I got it, all right? 
Well, let's hope he's a fast learner. But by the looks of it, I highly doubt that to be the case. Liam, can I have a word? So that's the manager? Unfortunately. Yeah, he's stuck yeah. up. And that man right there, that's the CEO, Russell Emerson. Liam won't even let anyone get near Russell. You're lucky if you can say hi to him without our manager. He's probably a, a nice person, I'm guessing. There's a hierarchy here, man. And unfortunately, we're on the bottom of the totem pole. I know it sucks, yeah. but... I'm not worried about him. I came here to work. And I'm gonna be the best dang janitor this place has ever seen. Damn, I like no, that please. energy. We need For people real, like though. that. But look, man, if you want that paycheck, you just gotta work hard and just stay out the way. Just show me how to clean first, yeah? Yeah? Any idea what's going on? All I know is the CEO called a meeting. Must be important. So everyone's supposed to be there or just... Why does it look like Jay Shetty? Um, to begin with, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to each He's and every one He's stepping down. You. Your dedication and hard work and unwavering commitment is the backbone to why this company is so successful. Unfortunately, in light of difficult challenges, I must address the hard realities we must face. Huh. Despite our collective efforts, we've experienced a decline in sales oh, no. ever since the release of our competitor's new chip flavor. It's uh, forced us to He's make gonna revive it. tough decisions. Regrettably, we must reduce Flamin our Flaming Hot workforce. Cheetos is born, baby. And this is not a decision that was made lightly. And I can assure you, we will make every effort to support those impacted by Why this transition. Why is the other guy smiling? Liam. Yeah, why is Liam smiling? I echo Russell's sentiment. However, if your name is called, this will be your final day of employment, and we ask that you pick up your paycheck on the way out. <clears throat> Harrison Chambers. Mm -hmm. Rebecca White. Damn. And lastly, <clears throat> Beto Gonzalez. <laughs> and for those of you whose names no. weren't called, I suggest that you start looking for employment elsewhere with the way things are going. Have a nice day. Why did they kick him out? Ricky. Sorry. I've just been so worried about the company. I mean, I know I'm just a janitor, but I love my job. I feel like it's the first time in my life that I actually have a purpose. To clean the floors, man. And now I may all be gone. Well, is there anything that you can do? Not unless I invent some new chip flavor. That's why the competition's killing us. Well, why don't you come up with a new chip flavor? It's because it's not yeah. part of his job? Me? Some delinquent who will never amount to anything is gonna come up with a new chip flavor that's gonna save the company and all of our jobs. That's a good one. Spicy hot, flaming hot Cheetos. Chef, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> it burns, it burns. Oh, that's it. where it's born. No, it's, like, it's like a good burn. It's a good burn. Yeah. She's like, why are you guys... What's this combination of food, people?
Watch him get the perfect recipe, and everyone is gonna be surprised. So I'm guessing after dehydrating them, you crush them into like... So that's how powder is made. Why don't you just buy the powder from the store? I don't get it. Uh, Liam, please, sir, if I could just have a minute of your time. I'll give you 15 seconds. I have something that I think could save the company, and I was wondering if you can give it to Russell for me. It's a spicy chip that my wife and I made. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you really think that the CEO is going to listen to some janitor? You're lucky we let you sweep the floors we walk on. I looked into your file and you're just a no good high school dropout with no future. So do yourself a favor and stop wasting your time thinking you're more than just that. What the fuck? Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have trash to take out and toilets to unclog? Yo, you gotta show him. You gotta show him who you are. No, don't throw that. Go to the, the the CEO. Straight to him. How'd it go? He didn't even try them, though. Can you give us a minute? Look, it's okay if he didn't like it. As long as you tried. He didn't even try it. I never even got a chance to give it to him. But you're gonna give it to him, right? Nah. You're gonna give up? Just like that? Honey, you, you need to at least try. What's the point? I was an idiot to even think that my idea was gonna save the company. No one's gonna take me seriously. And why should they? I'm a worthless nobody with nothing to my name. What? Why don't you just believe in yourself? Because he was always right. Who are you talking about? My dad. No, don't listen to your dad. I should have known I would end up here. Don't listen to your dad, bro. As soon as your you dad see, says something, this means it's true. Ever since I was a little boy, I knew that I would never be good enough for him. My older brother, Manuel, was a stray student in a past pride and joy. Meanwhile, I struggled in school, and if I got bad grades, which was often, no, look at the he disappointment. He doesn't even want to look at his son. Without dinner. Yo, that sucks. He thought maybe I could show some promise in sports. Maybe if I didn't have brains, I had brawn. It turns out. I had neither. Oh, uh, that's the worst still combination. See the disappointment on his face when I couldn't even kick a soccer ball right. But of course, Manuel was naturally athletically gifted. Yo, that sucks. He Harvard. Was golden child with a full right to Harvard. Manuel had all the potential. Yo, it sucks. He's taking the pictures and he's not going to Harvard. No, no, no. Until he got sick. Wait, what? What happened to him? Is that can't? Oh no. And during the graduation shoot, too, that's fucking crazy. His death took a toll on my dad. 
And I couldn't help but think he wished it was me who was gone instead of Manuel. After all, no. what could he contribute to this world? I don't know what I would do if my dad thought that way. That is tough. Eventually, I accepted that I wasn't ever going to amount to anything or feel the void my brother left, which is why I started selling drugs. It was the one thing I was good at. But I managed to screw that up too. Mm -mm -mm. So you see, every step of the way, I've always proven my dad right. I'll never amount to anything. And I'll never be anything like my brother. I'm just doomed to be a failure for the rest of my life. You can't Negative listen to talk. him. He's been drilling those thoughts inside of your head since you were a little boy. Did you he's the reason you're doing this shit. When you were constantly being told that you're a failure and constantly being compared to your older brother? I mean, look at what you've been able to accomplish since you've been trying. Our food isn't spoiling. Water is coming out of the shower head again. You were able to come up with a new chip flavor to save a company that you even really if it care didn't about. work out, right? Stop you still got it. Get inside of your head. What do I always say? You need to believe in yourself before others can believe in you. <laughs> you really think I can do this, Angela? Why else do you think I'm willing to blow all this money on peppers and chips? <laughs> Look, you inspire me. Now the rest is up to you. Come on, man. Do the right thing. Find find the uh, the CEO and just show him these chips. Yes, business hasn't been as strong this quarter, but we expect things to get better. Yes, they always get back. They always end up going down. Hey, I'm on the phone here. Damn, yo, that's unprofessional. Sorry, dude, just one. He's even got the headphones too, so it's excused. Wait, what's he trying to do? Like force him to eat it or something? Mr. Russell Emerson, I'm so sorry to bother you, but I have an no idea way. that I really, you really got to believe him. could save your company, sir. I'm listening. I knew it. I knew so he was a nice person. Us Mexicans love our spicy food. And we love our snacks. So, why not combine them? That's the recipe that me and my wife made together. Okay. He likes it. He likes it. He loves it. <clears throat> oh no. What are you doing to him? Liam, it's okay. It's okay. <coughs> so? What do you think? <laughs> I think we've got something here. <laughs> Several months later. Hey, Ricky. Beto? What are you doing in my room? <laughs> I was 
else out there. They offered me my job back. Apparently, the company's doing better than ever after they came out with a burning hot flavored chip. All thanks to Ricky. I was really impressed with your initiative and how you believed in yourself regardless of what anyone told you. Oh, and that reminds me. He's gonna get... Liam, don't you have something to say raise. to Ricky? It was wrong the way I treated you. I was wrong. Oh, come on now. You could do better than that. Damn. After all, Yo. you're gonna be reporting to Ricky. He's our new chief operating officer. The CEO. No, no, you can't just make some janitor the CEO. Oh, it's insane. The guy didn't even finish high school. <laughs> Mr. Russell, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. You deserve it. You're truly special, and you have a bright future ahead of you. Congratulations. I won't disappoint you. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? That was so gay. Oh. Yeah, I thought I thought he doesn't amount to anything. It's nice to see you finally learned how to tie a tie. This new position kind of forced me to figure it out. So, what do you think? <sighs> Come on, say it. Well, I thought you'd be happy for me. I am. It's just... I didn't make it easy for you. But look at you now. You are the COO of a huge company with COO? your own office. And I am so proud of you. You really turned your life around. Thank you, Dad. Dad, guess what? Whoa. You made the soccer team? Even better. The basketball I'm the team? the captain. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Reminding him what? The best advice I've ever received. You have to believe in yourself before others. Certainly never got you. that from your dad. <sighs> yeah, this one. That is crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. Flaming Hot Cheetos is everywhere on the shelves now. Thanks to this man right here. Imagine if he never done what a lot of people are scared of doing. We wouldn't have Flaming Hot Cheetos. But I love this episode. Let me know what your thoughts are. Goodbye. Thank you.